Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Joints Flight Academy. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a DJI pilot app uh, issue that we're having when we're trying to install the latest version with a Crystal Sky monitor like this. In the past two weeks, we've had to set up over eight of these monitors, and when we do so, we obviously make sure that everything is up to date. And we've had a problem on six of the eight monitors that showing us that there's enough of a pattern on the monitors to that very well uh, our audience can also see the same kind of issues. And we want to tell you what the problem is and what's the fix for it. So on whether you're on version 1.4 or 1.5, when you power up your pilot app, you'll notice that there's a message that says that there's a new version and to asking you if you want to update it or not. So the problem that we've seen is that when we hit OK update, when we uh, double check it in our middle status screen, you know, when you press the button between F1 and F2, you can check to make to see if it's downloading or not it doesn't do anything it doesn't download it and we tried and tried and tried and it just doesn't work we were able to get a work around it by actually downloading the actual apk file and installing it manually so i'm going to walk you through that process to show you what we did and what's working for us so Luckily enough, we were finding uh, someone with DJI was able to get us the actual file to a very specific download link. Now, we've, since then, we've put this APK file on Dropbox, and we're going to provide the Dropbox file, uh, the address for the file, on our description below the, the video for those of you who want to be able to try this yourself so you have it. So what we do is we take that APK file, we put it on a micro SD card, uh, it doesn't matter which slot it's going to be in, there's two slots here, and when you go in, you'll go into Explorer, you'll go ahead and search for that micro SD card, and we put the install, install the file right in the root directory. Then we notice you'll see once it's in a root directory, it actually shows up as two files. We click on the bottom of the two files and just touch it. It just extracts it and automatically installs it without having to do anything else. Then you have 1.61 loaded on there. Um, one reason why it's important to do the installation is we notice that the functionality on certain aircraft when we're trying to do older apps is not working. Uh, for example, we noticed that even on the Matrice 210 V2s, um, on a couple of the ones that are not updated to the recent models, we didn't see uh, the video camera feed working any longer. So it was, we, we really, really needed it to make sure that it was updated so that we can get everything to work. So that is the problem that we experienced and the workaround for it. And if you have any questions, like always, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks again. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.